Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as so Sudan. So what's going on here? Well, the Netherlands have fallen, Austria has fallen, the Russians have declared war on Sweden, the French have declared war on Luxembourg, Luxembourg ceased to exist, the Germans have re reached a space milestone, and the Germans just declared war on Switzerland. We're going to support that. Um... I'm going to condemn that. I'm going to condemn that. And we're good there. So we're going to try and stay on the good side of Israel and Germany. Fuck everybody else. Fuck everybody else. Um, what we're going to do, because I don't think um, we have the ability... 18,000... We got more troops than Uganda does, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they have a better military than we do. Like, better tech and things like that. So, I'm going to continue our research and things like that. So we're starting to get a little bit more money. Um, if I'm not saying Uganda does have aircraft and things like that in the modern times, like they got MIGs and stuff. Um, so, I wouldn't be surprised if they have current jet, er, uh, jet aircraft. Fighters, things like that, so... I'm contemplating going after Ethiopia. The thing is, I was playing as China, we went after Ethiopia, and it took us a while to invade that as well. So, what we might do is just spend some time and build up our military... And then go complete and utterly postal on everybody around us. Uh, once we build up a military powerful enough and strong enough. To do that, we're going to have to exploit our resources, obviously. So we're going to start building up uh, uh, coal. And uh, coal mine, working in a coal mine, working. Oh my god, we have no supply. Working in a coal mine. Crap. Okay, so we have no... Okay, hold on. want this group of troops to go here. This troops here. And these ones are all going to go here. Um, in the process, I'm going to build, transport a road from this town to this one. Where is our coal? It's gonna, the road is going to come up. And then it's going to cut across. Where's our metal? The metal's just south of that. So we're going to go right down the middle of that there. That's going to cost us a little bit of money. This should help with the increase in supply. Once we can get our supply going, which is going to be, what, from the looks of it, one of our major problems. How am I going to get... If I can get rail to go across, like from this city to this city, that might be a good thing. Build, transport, rail... Some building, some building going on here. Go the fastest. So it will take a while for all this to be built, obviously. Um, do I want to build a supply depot? No, but I would like to build. Even like if we can get some metal. Can't build anything there. What if we can build some metal? Some ore, like a little further south. Nope. And Germany has declared war on Belarus. We're going to support that. Wow, Germany is just going. Just going.
They're at war with Sweden, Belarus, the Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, they're not at war with Ukraine. Uh, with Russia. And they're about to capture Moscow, so Russia's pretty much as well. Um, Russia's at war with Nepal. And it looks like Nepal's taken a big chunk of territory from the uh, from the Russians. Israel's at war with Saudi Arabia right now. I think that's the only country they're at war with. They're at war with two countries. Who are they at war with? Saudi Arabia and Bahrain. Bahrain's right there. Oh, and now who are they at war with? They declared war on Iraq. I'm going to support that. We recently haven't gotten any supply requisition requests. Like, no one's been asking us for anything, so that makes me a little... Makes me a little sad, Panda. Reserve, please. Uh, reserve as well for you. We don't need our troops active at this point. Supply. How am I going to get... Hmm. I'm trying to think here how we can. I mean, obviously we can sell things like oil to people. That's no big deal. Like we're gonna sell. I'm gonna sell some more oil to the Germans here. Oh, Andrea Merkel. How you seem to have gone complete and utterly back crap crazy. Israel has declared war on Sudan. Switzerland has fallen. And German said no to our oil deal, but I could care less. I said this makes me nervous. Um, the Israelis are going to be on our border. Um, we'll watch them push south. Once it gets to a certain point, we might actually declare war on Sudan ourselves. Actually, you know what? It's actually not a bad idea. We have, like, no... Really no supply, though. We should still get some territory from them. I want those oil fields, actually, now that I think about it. Oil is right in this area here, so we're going to move troops up. Israel's gone to war with Qatar. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a... I'm going to cough, I apologize. I'm trying to figure out here how we can best... Get these oil fields. Because we are really, really hurting. Belarus has surrendered to the Germans. Hmm. So let's, let's get all these guys in place and help out our troops here, shall we? Once we start seeing this coming this way, like south, we will get involved. There's no point in uh, sending our troops down there just yet. One there, another one there. You go to that town. 
You can go there. Send you there, send you there, send you there. Uh, the borders actually go in the opposite direction. Germany has declared war in Venezuela. Um, okay. That doesn't make sense, but eh, whatever. And the girlfriend just got home and she has to yell at that she's home. Okay. Oh, come on. Let's try to get as many of these guys along the border as we can. Like, why these guys don't go on the road is beyond me. Let's move that one there. That one there. Make sure I don't have any supply trucks selected. All to go there. of infantry fighting vehicles and stuff like that. I don't know why these guys are just taking their fucking sweet ass time. And then that will be another war. Germany is declared on Italy. Damn, this is insane. Like, this the sheer amount of fighting on this in this war in this like playthrough is already going way above and beyond where I thought it would. Only sixty two percent. Average one there is at sixty six. Um Buy some military. We're, we're out of military supplies. That's what our main problem is here. Really build some. Military goods. And there, we'll build two. We're at 2.1% unemployment. Not too more perfect. Okay, you're both going to go over here. Okay. You go there. You go there. Hello, my dear. Hi. Uh, and these ones will go there. And Germany declared war in Denmark. No, I will not take out a freaking bond. Game wants me to fucking take out loans. Like every every other day. Uh, we are losing money though. Uh, come on, Israel. There you go. There you go. That might just be because of supply though. Israel looks like they stalled. Like the majority of the forces are fighting Iraq, maybe?
Russia has declared war on Turkey. Move all those guys up that way. Two supply trucks. Let's move both of them up this way. move at the same speed which is good uh, let's move you to the you you to you you can come down this way so I think I'm short Actual supply trucks. Uh, Russia has fallen. And Russia declared war on Papua New Guinea. Uh, okay. We're going to move all our transport vehicles from here down as well. Make sure there's none up here. None there. Okay. Move all those guys up there. There we go. Shift click. Have everyone move at the same speed. I think we're running low on military supply goods. That's our big problem. Yeah. We're short on industrial goods, short on consumer. We're short on everything right now, so... Denmark has capitulated, so they're, they're probably going to pivot their forces now to Saudi Arabia. Uh, Russia declared on Israel. Denmark has fallen. And Italy has gone and done its next step. No, this is taking too long. All our supply vehicles are taking up that. Our supply is horrible. We've got a little bit of it here, a little bit of it here. I have no idea how long it's going to take for us to actually build up our supply here. Even our supply vehicles are running low. Uh, 
Germany declare war on France, Bahrain ceases to exist, and Saudi Arabia ceases to exist. Support that. Close all that. So now Israel should only be at war with three countries. Sudan, Russia, and Qatar. And Russia's going to be a biggie because they're bordered right here. Though there's no actual fighting going on yet. It looks like they're starting to push. So right when they get to about this, like around here-ish, like halfway through the country, we're going to go to war. So pretty much this line right here. Once they get to about here, we're going to move in and try to take the oil fields, which are right here. I mean, technically we can try to do our push sooner, but I really don't think... It would be a good idea, so... France declared war on Serbia. So, like I said, once that gets halfway. So, I'm going to put a pause in here, and in the next episode, hopefully... We're going to war with Sudan, and we're going to try and take half the country. While the Israelis take the northern half, we're going to take the southern half. Until next time, bye-bye.